Okay. So here for the graphs, we have a few things on graphs as well. So now the second unit is unit one, the uh, now the next section actually. For the first part, as we did algebra, now here we are going to learn about the graphs. When it comes to graphs, so these are the few things which we will be learning. So find the gradient of the line through uh, two points and find the gradient and give me one minute. Okay, so here these are the key learning objectives which we will be earning once we completed this entire lesson. So the let's uh, go through with the basic uh, principles. What are the basic principles we should learn? So for this kind of a graph, what do we call? We are giving for this kind of a plane a special name. Do you know that one? Why? No, no, no. Yeah, that is why. Yeah. Why, yeah. For yeah. the entire, yeah, for the entire plane, we call it as a Cartesian plane. Have you heard that uh, word? Cartesian no, no. plane. Okay. For this, these type of graphs, we call it. Yeah. So for these kind of plane. We called it as a Cartesian plane. Then there are, we have two axes. One axis is y-axis. The other axis is x-axis. Okay. The uh, vertical axis we called it as y. For the horizontal axis we called it as x-axis. And so here... So, if we marked a point, if we marked a point on this uh, Cartesian plane, that point we should denote from two parts. First part belongs to what? Uh, first part. First mm -hmm. part belongs to. Uh, first part belongs to x-axis. X-axis. Ah. X and, and Y. Yeah, second part belongs to Y axis. See, here 2, 3 means. Here 2, 3 means. So this one belongs to this 2 belongs to X axis. This X. 3 belongs to this y 3 belongs axis. to Y axis. So points on a graph are given by two numbers in brackets separated by a comma. For example, we have 2, 3. So, all the points are measured from origin. Origin means where? In singular, Zero. yeah, in singular we called it as Moolalakshe. Origin means this zero, zero means starting zero. point. Zero. Yes, yes. Zero, zero point we called it as uh, origin because the x axis also, x axis, the value of x axis also zero and the y value also zero there. Compared to this, Compared to this, I mean compared to this origin only, we have all these numbers, all these points. Okay. Then all points are measured from the origin. The x-axis is horizontal, x-axis is horizontal and y-axis is vertical. And then the first number gives the distance from zero, uh, distance from O. Uh, zero in the x direction. That's what I already told. This is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. So, x coordinate means the horizontal distance. Y coordinate means the vertical distance to that to that point from origin. So, the first number gives the distance from 0 in the x direction and the second number gives the distance from 0 in the y direction and then these numbers can be positive or either negative as well because 
we can mark a number here. We can mark the dot point here as well. Then how we denote it as minus 2 because the x value it is minus 2 and for the y value that is 4. Then minus 2, 4. That's how we mark the point. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Okay. Then if we move to the next part, now we are going to learn about the gradient. Gradient of a straight line. So, for the gradient of a straight line, how are you going to measure this gradient? That is, <clears throat> okay, let me share my entire screen. Let me share my entire screen and take a paint. Take a paint. Okay. So, for the gradient means, actually, we called it as a slope. A normal word would be slope. The slope of a line is also we called it as gradient. So now what will happen? How we gonna measure this gradient is how we gonna measure this gradient is let's assume we have a number line like this. Number line means a line like this. At the bottom, we have the coordinate x, y or x1, y1. And here we have another point at the end that is x2, y2. What do you think? How we gonna um, how we gonna calculate the gradient? Adding them? No, the gradient. Yeah, the gradient is first we need to get the difference. Okay, difference means. The difference of the y coordinates. That means y2 minus y1 should divided by the difference between the x coordinate. x2 minus x1. Is it clear? So the difference yes. between the y coordinate, the change or the difference. Difference in the y coordinates should divided by the difference um, difference in the x coordinate okay so there are there are we have two things difference of the y coordinate we called it as rise and the difference of the that means the horizontal sorry the vertical height the vertical change the vertical difference that that we called it as rise rise should be divided by run Run means the difference of the x coordinates. Is it clear now? Yes. So please. we can we can define straight line M. We can define straight line M is equals to M denotes for the gradient. M denotes for the gradient. So gradient is equals to uh, change in the y coordinates. Y coordinates change should divided by the difference in between x coordinates. If you are comparing, if you are considering this point first, enough for the x, uh, both for the y, uh, both for the difference in between y coordinates and the x coordinate, you should consider this point first. That means y2 minus y1 should divided by x2 minus x1. But you can't have like y2 minus y1 and x1 minus x2. That part you can't have because for the y coordinate you have started from the second point. Here you have started from the first point. That is not, uh, uh, it's not allowed. If you are all, if you are considering for the y difference, if you are considering this, uh, what we call the second point, then you have to consider the second point first for the x difference as well. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Then the pictures show some steep slopes. The slope of a line is its gradient. Then the larger the gradient, the steeper the slope. That means gradient take a So if the gradient getting increased, then the slope also getting increased. And the letter M, M denotes 
uh, the gradient, then the gradient will be the change change in the y coordinates divided by the change in the x coordinate. X coordinate. Yeah. So for the change in the y coordinate, we gave it a we, we gave it a special name that is rise. Rise. And change in the x coordinate, we gave it as a special rise. name that is. Okay. Then we can define a formula that is m is equals to according to this given picture m is equals to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 okay y2 minus y1 means the difference in between y coordinates divided by x2 minus x1 means the difference between x coordinates is it clear yes miss okay then shall we do the example okay miss Okay, just try the example. Uh, example one, right? Yeah, yeah example one. Miss. Yes. We have to do that both both terms. Uh yes. Miss, I be, uh, did both of them. Okay, how you did? So the first one, they are asking, so they are asking yeah. what? The end of the straight line joining mm -hmm. A, 1, 2, 1. And B, 3, 6. Then they have asked you to first draw the diagram. So how you mark those ones? Did you mark? So, 1 yeah. means here the x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 2. So, here we have this point 1, 2. And then for B, uh, the point B, 3, 6, that is x coordinate is 3 and the y coordinate is 6. That is where we have 3, 6. 
Now what we have, so one, two, and three, six is there. The gradient is rise over on rise means the difference in between y coordinates. That means six minus two, okay, six minus two divided by a uh, difference in between x coordinate that is three minus one. See three minus one, okay. So six minus two means four. Three minus one means two. Four divided by two that is two. Okay, so that okay. is the positive gradient. Is it clear? So this is yeah. what we have received. And for the example two, ah, then the line is with the other way. See. So earlier the line was uh, earlier the line we had was from this side, but now we have the line uh, line with the other side. Here, what do we have? So the same thing, the same thing. Again, so here this point it is two, four, okay. Minus so two, four, three, two, three, two, three, right? Here we have two, x coordinate oh, yeah. is two. And not minus two, it is two. It is two, yes. Here two, then y coordinate is three. And here we have uh, six and one. So the uh, x coordinate is six and the y coordinate is one. Now what we have to do, so that is uh, the difference in between uh, X, uh, y coordinate divided by x coordinate, you know, 3 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 6. See, 3 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 6. So, 3 minus 1, that is 2. 2 minus 6, that is minus 4. Then, we, we can simplify these two further, you know, minus half. Minus half is minus half is the uh, what we call minus half is the gradient. Is it clear? Is it is it zero point five noise? Zero point five. Very good. Minus zero zero point five. Yeah, minus zero point five. Okay, negative gradient. There we have a negative gradient. Minus should be there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then they have given the they have given the key points. So how we gonna measure this gradient? Rise divided by run. Rise means the difference in between y coordinate should divided by difference in between x coordinate. So here this one we have a positive gradient. This one we have a negative gradient. Here we have a positive gradient. Here we have a negative gradient. Negative gradient. Yeah. Then here parallel lines have the same gradient. If we have like uh, parallel lines, then that means the gradient is same because the direction is same. It's like this. See, so like this, if we can draw a parallel line, parallel line means, the, uh, for example, the, you know, the rail PD, rail PD means uh, Kochi rail PD. So those two are, uh, those two are some examples of parallel lines. Because they are not uh, meet each other, yeah. all the difference in between these two, I mean the direct difference in between these two lines are always similar. Yeah. For these kind of ones, we called it as parallel lines. If yeah. we have parallel lines, then the gradient of these parallel lines are equal. Okay? And for okay. these questions, always... First, you should draw a diagram. First, you should draw a diagram and mark all the information which they have given. And then, you should uh, calculate those ones. Okay. okay. Is it clear? Okay. Yeah. okay. Then, uh, find the gradient of the straight line joining to A to B. Ah, okay. Now, what do you have? Uh, can you do only the uh, last, uh, uh, can you start from the question number 8? Eight? 8, 9, 10. Then you have to do 11, 12, 11, 12. Yeah. Can you do those ones? 
those are some wording questions okay miss so we have to draw, draw? yeah you have to draw the line okay. draw the draw the things what they have uh, asked us to do Yes. Uh, Can I help you? Yeah. Okay. Now, what they are saying. See. Okay. Now, what they are saying. So, a ladder reaches 12 meters up on a vertical wall and has a gradient of 4. How far is the bottom of the ladder, uh, ladder from the wall? So, what will happen here? So, this is the bottom. Bottom means this is the land. Okay. Yeah. Now, this will be the wall. So... How the land, how the, what we call, 
how the ladder will be. Ladder will be like this. So this is our ladder. Now what they are saying, the ladder reaches 12 meters up a vertical wall. So this distance is what? This distance is 12 meters. Because as they said, a ladder reaches 12 meters up a vertical wall and has a gradient of 4. That means the slope. Slope is what? Slope or M or gradient. We define all these um, same. So gradient is equals to what? 4. Now what will happen? They have asked how far is the bottom of the ladder from the wall? Ah, they are asking this, this distance. See, this distance. How are you going to find out this one? Can you do it now? Try it now. Mm. Why? The gradient is equals to rise divided by run. Run. So, rise means this vertical height. That is 12, but we don't know the horizontal length. So that mm -hmm. one, we'll put it as L or something. This is equals to 4 because they have given that the gradient is equals to 4. Uh, then what will happen? 12 over L is equals to 4. Then we have to find the value for L. So that means for both sides, we'll multiply it by L. Okay, then uh, left hand side it will be 12, 12 is equals to 4L. Then, then we should do it. Uh, all right, we have to divide both sides by 4, then L is equals to 3. You know, this distance is 3 meters. This means. Okay, is it clear now? Yeah, miss. Okay. Uh, shall we, can you try the ninth one? Okay. Medical <laughs>
Miss? Yes. Why? Is it's not so hard. You no, miss. Okay. Is it 10,000? Ah, wait. Uh, after takeoff. Oh, you do the 10th one? I'll, I'll do the 9th one. Okay. Um, after takeoff, an aeroplane climbs in a straight line with a gradient of now the gradient is equals to 1 over 5. When it has reached height of um, okay, height of uh, 2,000 meters, okay, 2,000 meters, how far it has gone horizontally? So this length, if I took it as distance, you know, uh, what will happen? If I write the equation for the gradient, m is equals to 2,000 divided by d that means m is equals to 1 over 5 no? 1 over 5 is equals to 2000 divided by d uh, that means uh, now we can do the cross multiplication so d is equals to yes 10000 very good Okay. We'll do one more question. I mean the tenth one, and then we'll uh, jump into the next next part. Now it's clear, right? What is the yeah, right. and how you are gonna calculate the gradient kill? Okay. Thank you. 
Miss, yeah, I need help. I need help. Yeah. Why? They are only the thing is we have decimals. Other than that, nothing. So the roof of they the garden. Ah, uh, the roof of this garden has um has uh, no, uh, the roof of this garden shed has a gradient of zero point three five. No. See, now the roof means this one. So, this is the roof. So, the gradient is this slope. No, this slope has 0 0.35. The, this slope is 0 0.35. Now, uh, they are asking finding the height of the shed. So, height of the shed means first we have to find out this part, right? We need to yeah. find out this, this height. To find out that one, the slope is equals to this height. This height should divided by this length, right? 1.5. So the slope is 0 0.35. No, then 0 0.35 is equals to h divided by 1.5. Then the height is equals to. If you do the cross multiplication, we can have 0 0.35 into 1.5. Is it clear? This is the height. But this is not the exact answer. Why? So they are asking, the, find the height of the shed means. So we have to, uh, height of the shed uh, means. Yeah, I think that is the answer. I thought that we need to add 1.8 as well here. What do you think? Yeah, height of the shed. No? That means this part is 1.8. So, the entire height of the shed will be 1.8 plus this. 3.3? 1.8 means the height of the wall. So, from here to here. 
what do you think height of shed means only this part or this whole height if it's uh, the height for the shed now height of the shed now what do you think i think only this part right this is the height of the shed yeah that means 0 0.35 into uh, 0 0.35 into 1.5 Yeah, like that. Oh. Can you try the rest of the questions at home? Okay. Okay. So what is the answer you got here? 0 0.35 into 1.5. 0 0.35 into 1.5 now. First, we'll forget about the decimals and then we have to multiply. That means 35 multiplied by 15. 5 times 5, 25. 5 times 3, 15. 15 plus 2, that is 17. Then here we have 35. So altogether 5, 2, then 4. Not 4, 5. So then how many decimal places are there? Altogether, we have three decimal places. If we have three decimal places, that means 0 0.525. Okay. Okay? Okay. Hmm. Now, if we move to the next part, so this one you have to... Yes, what, the, what is the exercise? Uh, this exercise... Is, uh, uh, Exercise one again. Exercise one from the graphs. Yeah. So this one you should do complete at home. And also here one star also there. That one also you should complete at home. Okay. Then okay. Can you try? Can you try? Okay, these ones first. Uh, I think these ones are a little bit hard. But that's fine. You just try those ones. Um. Okay. Can shall we do the activity one? Okay. Okay. Still reasoning. Just try.
So here they are saying find the gradient of the line AB. How are we going to find out the gradient of the line AB? Miss, do we have to uh, multiply? No, the when it comes to finding the gradient, gradient means that uh, they have given us the find the gradient uh, of the line AB. You know, line AB means this line. You know, the difference of the y coordinate, the difference of y coordinate should divided by the difference of x coordinate. So that means difference of y coordinate means 2 minus 1 because here we have 2, here we have 1, 2 minus 1 should divided by here we have 11 minus 1. See, x coordinates are 11 minus 1. So what is the value? 2 minus 1 that is 1, 11 minus 1 that is 10. 10. That means the final answer is 0 0.1. Okay. Okay, that's how it is. So find the gradient of AB as the point B moves closer and closer to the point C. Ah, what is the gradient of AC? Let's let's assume. We just, uh, we just move this B point to C, Kerala. Then how are we going to calculate the gradient? Same way. Same way. Yes, same way. But now what are the points we need to consider? Point A is 1, 1. Point C is 11, 1. Okay. Yeah, calculate the gradient. Gradient of AC. Okay. So the difference of Y coordinates will be 1 minus 1 should divided by the difference of X coordinates will be 11 minus 1. So it is 10, Mamish. No, it's not 10. 0 divided by 10. 0 divided by 10. Ah, 0 divided by 10 means what is the answer? 0. Because 0 no. means nothing. If we divide some nothing, if there's nothing, then we can't divide it by 10 as well. No? That means the final answer is 0. Nothing. Ah, yes, nothing. That means the final answer is 0. That implies the gradient the gradient of a horizontal line is what horizontal line is what because here we have a horizontal line see yes horizontal line is zero very good yeah so, gradient of a horizontal line is zero. Zero. Yeah. And now, can you, you write this part as well. Gradient of a horizontal line is equals to zero. Then, the next question is, calculate the gradient of BC line. Calculate the gradient of BC line. Gradient of BC.
Miss. Yeah. This one zero. Ah, uh, one zero means so the gradient of uh, BC line. Okay, M of BC line. That is two minus one should divided by eleven minus eleven. No. Okay. Yeah. Miss. Yeah. Uh, you mean two minus one means one. 11 minus 11, that is 0. 1 yeah, divided by 0. So, 1 divided by 0 now, is it defined? Defined means weak. 0 means so just it's nothing. Again zero. No, it's not again 0. It's, it's infinity. If any number, if any number, if we divide it from zero, we called it closest to infinity. That means actually we called it as infinity. That means this is not so defined. If we calculated it from the calculator. No, one over zero. Yeah. No, I don't think so. It it says it says like not defined or something. Right. Right. Yes, Okay. Not defined. It's giving an error. Mm. It should give. Yeah, it's it giving an error. Ah, that's why. Right. See, okay. here now. Yes, that means this value we define it as infinity, and also this is we call not defined. Here now, for a vertical line, for a vertical line. For a vertical line, the gradient of the vertical line is what? Infinity. Infinity. Yes. You have to write that one. Gradient. Gradient of a gradient of a vertical line is. Vertical line is. Infinity. Infinity. Infinity means here the symbol is this. Okay. 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 So then the next part. Plotting straight line graphs. Okay. So now this is important. So now what they are saying. Okay. Okay. Can you feel this? Can you feel this? Activity 2. Okay. Can you feel this uh, a chart? Do you know, uh, have you done the gradient and the intercept earlier? No, right? Have you done? No. No, okay, okay. That's fine. First, uh, draw, the gra uh, draw this table, copy and complete. So, first draw this table, then I'll show you how to do that.
no no need to draw all these graphs just draw this table only uh, uh, okay table only no means yeah table only table huh? i thought i thought yeah. graph no 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 graph you can't no how are you gonna so you don't know you don't know right how to draw these graphs from this given equation have you learned if it's y is equals to x plus one then do you know how to draw that graph no i can So, I said, Rave the man table. Okay. Now, so if I, um, uh, Okay, so, okay. Now, by looking at these graphs, okay, by looking at these graphs, they have measured, no, they have numbered A, B. You have the book, right? You have the, uh, I mean, copy, uh, the physical copy also with you, no? So yeah, then, yeah. then they have measured A, B, C lines and here D, E, F lines as well, no? Can you... Can you find the gradient of all these lines? So what you have okay. to do? If How to we, find the gradient? Ah, uh, so if if they if we wanted to find the gradient of this A, what do we have to do? We have to mark two point. You can exactly sharp two points. Say let's assume I selected this point, and uh, what else? I selected uh, this point. Something like that. Now. We have to read the coordinates of these two points. This point is 5, 6. Okay. Then this point is minus 5 and 4. Minus 5 and minus 4. Okay. So here we have 5, 5, 6. And see, 5, x coordinate is 5, y coordinate is 6. So there we put 5, 6. And here we put minus 5. The x coordinate is minus 5 and the y coordinate is minus 4. Now what we have to do to find out the gradient. Gradient means the difference between uh, the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So that means, sorry, the difference between y coordinate should divided by the difference between x coordinate. Hey, now, 6 minus minus 4 should divided by 5 minus minus 5. See, 6 minus minus 4 should divided by 5 minus minus 5. So, 6 minus minus 4 means 6 plus 4 should divided by 5 minus minus 5 means 5, five plus five. 5. Yeah, that is 10 divided by 10. That is equals to 1. 1. So the gradient is 1. Like that, can you fill the gradient values of all these lines? Uh, I intercept. I uh, intercept. I'll, I'll tell you. Okay. 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 Let's do the okay. gradient. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.
Miss? Yes. What happened? In the second one, may the graph may the sum in the y intercept. Okay. Uh, no, not intercept. Oh, yeah, the gradient. Okay, the gradient. So here for the second no, one is no, B. No, B. no. Hmm. And the second graph, the y-axis. Okay, yes. Some numbers are not mentioned. Why? So second graph is this one, no? Number I in B, no? So no, it's... not that time. Is. The hmm? other one? Ah, the other one. Ah, yes. No, no. All the lines are defined. Because this one is E. The numbers are there, but they didn't. Ah, yeah, yeah. So that means here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, miss. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, miss. I will do those also. Then I will tell miss. Okay. Miss, yeah. all are minus, no miss? All are minus means? That may equation for dividing? Yes. So, the, uh, so difference of y coordinate should divided by the difference of x coordinate. So, it is minus. Okay. So, what is the value you received here for the second line? One. Is it one or is it minus one? Gradient? Mm. For the gradient one, so here the number line is B. Let me choose this line, this point and this point. So what will happen? If I select those points, then the coordinate of this point is minus five and 6. This point will be 6 and minus 5. Because here the x coordinate, here the y coordinate. See here the x coordinate, here the y coordinate. Now the difference of y coordinate. No? So let me uh, consider this point first. Eta kota. 6 minus minus 5 should divided by minus 5 minus 6. Now what will happen? 6 minus minus 5 that is 6 plus 5. 6 plus 5 should divided by minus 5 minus 6 means that is minus 11. So 6 plus 5 means 11. 11 divided by minus 11, that is the answer is minus 1. So the gradient will be minus 1. Okay, Miss. Have you done these ones in school? No, Miss. No? So in, uh, now where are they? Maybe. They have passed us, right? Where are they now? Uh, they are going to book two now. Huh? Book two? Yeah. 
Have they completed their complete book one? No, uh, they are doing like that. They are going to book one, they are going to book two. Ah, seriously? Oh, I see. That means they haven't uh, done this uh, graph thing, right? No. They have moved to the first part of the book two. Is it so? Not first part means uh, they have gone to the second or third part. Yeah, third part. Ayyo. What they are doing now? Okay. okay uh, we'll I also it. thought what they are actually doing now. <laughs> that confusing. Okay. Why do you do like that? Okay. Come on, now. we'll do this one and then we'll, anyway, we'll complete before the exam what they have done also somehow. But it's good to follow kind of a proper method, right? Otherwise, it's getting confused. Then other, uh, other children also, they are getting confused. Yeah, that's the exam paper. They have to search every page. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Miss? Yes. For the third one, is it minus 2? Uh, that is 2. That is 2. Why? Okay, let me clear all these stuffs. Uh, uh, how to clear this one? I got 2, then I, uh, I thought... No, no, that is 2. 2 is correct. Uh, because okay. 2 is correct. And for the fourth one, what did you receive? 2 is correct. Both on, uh, I'm still checking. Okay, okay. Just check. Thank you. 
Miss. Yeah. Is it the minus one? That is minus two. For the fourth one, it should be minus ah, two. Okay. Okay. For the fourth one, that is minus two. Yeah. And fifth one and sixth one, last two. Ah, yeah. Fifth one, fifth one and sixth one. There you have another two to go.
Yes, miss. Yes, the return is it a minus one? The fifth one that is so I got as three. Three this one, yeah, no, minus two. This one as three. Fifth one should be three because here E, no, E means if I select this point. And uh, let me select this point. Okay. So what will happen? If it this point, that means 2, 5. The coordinates. Okay. And here if I select this point, that is minus 2 and uh, minus 7. No? Yeah. Minus 2 and minus 7. So that means, so if we take the difference of y coordinate, 5 minus minus 7 should divided by 2 minus minus 2. So 5 minus minus 7, that is 5 plus 7. No? 5 yeah. plus 7 should divided by 2 minus minus 2 means 2 plus 2. So 5 plus 7, that is 12. Okay. 12 divided by 4, that is 3. Twelve divided by four, that is three. Okay. Oh. Last one. Okay, last one.
The last term is it also three? Sixth one. Mm. Yeah. One. Um. A B C D. Okay, sixth. F no. F. Uh, so I'll select this point. And uh, shall I select this point? Okay. Miss, uh, we are not taking further. We are not taking further means? That means... Uh, okay, you uh, just select what are the points you selected. Tell me. Uh, six and five. Six, five. Okay, this point and... Minus six and minus, one. Minus six and one. Yeah. Ah, minus six and one. So here we have to have the negative numbers. See, Anna, that's the case. Minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. So then uh, the coordinate, yeah. Anna, the coordinate will be minus six, minus one. Okay. Okay. Uh, now do it. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh -huh. Hmm. Then I. Yes, it is coming. Ah, uh, decimal point. Miss. Ah, right. ah, okay, Miss. Miss? Sadishan, so, give me one minute. Give me one minute. Okay, Miss. Yes, uh, so you asked me whether it's a decimal. Yes, decimal number. The answer should be half. Yeah, miss. You got? Yeah, miss. Ah, okay. Now the thing is, you should know. So here, now I also didn't uh, told you that part. No? So from left to right, this x-axis numbers will increase. So here we have positive numbers. And here we have zero. And for the left side, we have negative numbers. That is all for the X. Okay. <laughs> for the Y, Y axis, what will happen? Here we have, um, here we have all the, what we call the positive numbers. Okay. So one, okay. two, three, four, from zero to top, it's getting increased. And here, uh, 0 to downwards, it will be um, like reducing. That means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 2. Okay? Yeah. Now, so you got half here now. Now. Yeah. yeah. 0 0.5 you received? Yes, please. Okay. 
now what will happen so you can see check all the equations check all the equations and also the gradient values we have received you should be able to find a pattern so here the gradient is 1 here the gradient is minus minus 1 here the gradient is 2 and here the gradient is minus 2 here the gradient is 3 here the gradient is 0 0.5 what do you think Mm. So, any connection can you see? Uh, I'll, I'll give you uh, another help. Check with this x values. You should... 2x make... and 2. Huh? 2x and 2. No, no. It's not like that. See, the coefficient of this x value comes as the gradient. Why? Here we have 1 x means 1 x no then gradient also 1 see here minus ah, x. Okay. minus x means minus 1 minus 1 times x then the gradient is minus 1 here the coefficient is 2 no then again the gradient will be 2 here the coefficient is minus 2 that means again the gradient is minus 2 here the coefficient is 3 that means the gradient is here the coefficient is half. That means the gradient is half or 0 0.5. Here now, if we have a line equation like this, y is equals to mx plus c, then this m means what? The gradient. The gradient. Yeah. The coefficient of the x value, the coefficient of the x, so, the equation should be in this format. Y is equals to mx plus c type. It should be in this format. We will we'll, we'll discuss these ones further. So, if we have this kind of an equation for a line, then the coefficient of this x gives us the gradient. Okay. 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 Is it clear? Yes, miss. Okay. Then we have the second part that is the y-intercept. No? Y-intercept means what? See, they have given the definition. Y-intercept is the value of y where the line crosses the y-axis. Ah, so, if it's, if it's the A, what is the y-intercept? See, line crosses the y-axis from here. That means... The y-intercept is what? 1. 1. one. Yeah. Likewise, can you fill the y-intercept values as well? Okay. Okay, so the gradient will be the coefficient of the, the gradient will be the coefficient of the x-axis. And now, find the values for y-intercept for all these uh, graphs.
Nisha, if I uh, you found. So what are the values you got? Uh, the second one is it one miss? One. Yeah. Then next one. Minus one. Minus one. Next one. 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 Next one. Minus one. Minus one. Next one. Two. Two. Yes. Ah. Uh, They're all one no miss. Huh? They are all one now. They are all one. Yeah, that's true. So now, now see, here you have the y-intercept now. Yes, me. Ah, see the, this part? Ah, I mean, not no with way. the, ah, that means, see, one, 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 mm. one. Here, minus one, minus one. Again, plus one, plus one, minus one, minus one, two and two. Ah, that means, so if the equation is in this format, y is equals to mx plus c, m is the gradient value, c is the y-intercept value. Is it clear? If the yes, line, if the equation of the line is in this format, y is equals to mx plus c, then the gradient is m and the y-intercept is c. That is how it is. Okay? Okay, me. Okay. Can you see a connection between the number in front of x and the gradient? Yes, both are same. Okay? Yes, me. Yes, both are same. Then can you see a connection between the number at the end of the equation and the uh, y-intercept? Yes. Same. Those also same. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then we have the next part. I'll do this one as well so that you can do all the homeworks um, nicely because we have already done this one. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So here, what do we have? Real life straight line graphs. Uh, so real life straight line graphs, these graphs simply replace X and Y with variables which represent real life values such as weight, length, time, speed, and etc. If a uniform rate is given, it is often necessary to produce the equation as well. So when drawing a graph of two variables, let's assume we have two variables calls, called x and y. When drawing a graph of two variables, p against q, it is normal practice to draw the first named variable p on the vertical axis. That means p is the vertical axis and q is the q is the horizontal axis. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Okay. Then skill interpretation. They have given the cost of phoning is 10 cents per minute. Per minute one uh, per minute for one minute for one minute per minute then 10 cents the cost of um, phoning is 10 cents per minute eh, no? per, per minute the cost will be uh, ten, uh the cost of phoning is 10 cents per minute Plus 50 cents. Ah, okay. So that means we can define the equation as how? Write down an equation. So the rate is 10 no? and uh, plus 50. No? Then if we mapped it with, uh, with, uh, e with an equation, then we can write it as write down an equation for the total cost. Total cost C will be for phoning for M minutes if the uh, minimum is one minute and maximum is 60 minutes. How are we going to do that one? So the total cost T is equals to 
10 m plus 50 m belongs to here the number of minutes so they have given the rate 10 cents per minute Enam the gradient would be 10 or the slope would be 10 10 m plus 50 this is like kara this is like y is equals to mx plus c yes, the same type of an equation Okay. okay, so the graph of y is equals to mx plus c is a straight line with, so this m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Okay, so if the points do not lie on a straight line, then there's a mistake in the table of value as well. Um. It is usual to use only three or four widely spaced points in the table values. Okay, so we'll do this. Can you do these ones at home? Can you try? Okay. Okay. For that, anyway, now you have uh, so many homeworks. No? So anyway, you have to complete this exercise and also this previous one as well. So we did this part. You just try to do this homework. Oh, okay. We'll do something. We'll do only the first question. Shall we do first question okay. here and then finish? Yes. Copy and complete the table of values for y is equals to 2x minus 3. Ah, now try to do that one. Exercise 1. So the equation is in y is equals to mx plus c format. Now, you need to find out the, you need to fill the uh, table. Okay. Try to find out. What about the C? C is what? So you have to find out. So the how we are going to find out this? Okay, let me show you. Okay, so here Okay, so here what will happen? Um copy and complete no. Uh okay, so here uh, now the given equation is what y is equal to 2x minus 3. Yes, so we have to, uh, first they have asked, okay, first we have to fill this uh, table. So we need to find out the y value when x value is equal to minus 2. How are we going to find out that one? So that means we need to substitute minus 2 instead of this x value. 2 times minus 2 minus 3. See, when x is equals to minus 2, we need to find out the y value. Oh, minus 3 same. Yeah, minus 3 same. That is same. Oh, because okay. we just substitute these values, I mean the x values to this given equation and find out the value for y. We are okay. finding out the y value.
Miss, yes. Is that term minus seven? Minus seven, yes. Minus seven. Y value is minus seven. Likewise, okay. fill the other rest of the uh, values as well. Okay, miss. Yes. Yes. Shall I tell? Sorry? Shall I tell? Yeah, tell. Uh, that my, the second one is minus 3. Is it correct? Minus 3 means when, when x is equals to minus 1, they have find out. Ah, no. When 0, yes, minus 3. Okay. When x is equals to one, one is minus 1. Yes, very good. When x is equals to three, is 3. Very good. Now, can you draw the graph? The first part is draw the graph. So, you should mark all these point, points in, a, in an Cartesian plane and draw the graph. Okay.
Okay, okay, done. You drew the graph, right? Now, yeah, can be the gradient value and the y intercept? Gradient and y intercept? Okay. Yeah, gradient is what? So, the equation is y is equal to 2x ah. minus 3. So, the gradient yeah. is? It is 3. No, the gradient is 2. Because the coefficient, x, I, uh, the coefficient of the x, x no, you know, the gradient two. is 2, y-intercept is minus 3. Minus 3. Okay? Use your yeah, graph to estimate. Yeah, minus 3 is the inter y-intercept and 2 is the gradient. Gradient is 2. The last part, Use your graph to estimate the value of y when x is equal to 0 0.6. What do you think? By looking at your graph, when x is equal to 0 0.6, what is the y value? Use your graph to estimate the value of y when x is equal to 0 0.6. Yes. How to find... So what we have to do, we have to substitute, we can read the value from the graph as well or else we can substitute 0 0.6 yeah. instead of this x value and find out the value for y. If you go to 2 times 0 0.6, that is 1.2, 1.2 minus 3, that is minus 1.8. Yeah. Okay, now you can do the rest of the questions. That's easy. Okay, okay. so this one also homework. And uh, here this page also homework. You can try when you have time. Um, whoa, you have a lot of, okay. Until this, you should be able to try. Okay. Okay. Okay, take your time and do. Okay, then thank you so much for joining. See you on next day. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.